It is getting down to the nitty gritty as we are two weeks, there's only two weeks left in the 2010 football season. The playoffs are in sight. Postseason bursts are on the line over the next couple of weeks. And tonight we have some prime time battles. All teams in Division II will make the playoffs this year, but positioning is still key for both Southside and Vessel. But the Golden Bears are the only ones showing up tonight. Already 26 to nothing. It's the two minute drill time for Vessel. Caleb Sapanic. Nick Keeler on the screen, a bunch of yards and tick tock, the clock is ticking. Next play, Sapanic bombs over the middle to Aaron Rodriguez. That's another touchdown for Vestal. They close out the first half up 33 to nothing. Second half now, the Green Hornets have the ball, but not for long. Bumble Ruski right there, but it's not going in the way of Southside. Vestal takes possession. Thad Zaprazinski pounds it in from there. Vestal cruises tonight 47 to 0 over Elmira Southside. As for the Spartans of Maine and well, they're not going to win at Division Two because they're lost in last week's split of the EFA. Tonight, they're on, trying to right the ship against the Wego. Pick up the action. Second quarter, Nick Larrabee finds Dylan Angelus on the flat. He takes it into the end zone, putting the Wego up six. Fast forward, two touchdowns and a safety for Maine and well later. Max Sinicki hooks up with Nick Smith, and he puts the Spartans inside five. Count him one, not two, not three, or actually three plays later. Kane Thane bulldozes his way into the end zone. Emmy goes up 24 to six. All Spartans from here on out, they roll over the Indians 32 to six. Chris Whalen, you were at some warm matchups. How did it go, buddy? It's pretty good. I had the Route 12 run tonight. A shootout of a game last week between undefeated Shenango Forks and Sydney resulted in a 44-36 victory for the Blue Devils and their perfect season intact. Forks would look to stay undefeated at Green tonight. They would trail by a point at halftime, 7-6, and Green looking to add to its lead to start the third quarter. On fourth down, Keegan Serwinski looking for the first and more, but finds Forks' as Casey Lanave picks it off, and the Blue Devils take over. Lanave now under center. On the ensuing drive, he hands off to Jimmy Miller. Miller going to go all the way 15 yards for the TD. Blue Devils take the 12-7 lead. Green looking to answer, but that ball is slippery on this dreary night, and the Trojans are going <coughs> to cough it up. Forks takes over. Blue Devils going to turn the turnover into six points. Lenave hooks up with Derek Foster for the 29-yard TD pass. Forks goes up by two TDs and goes on to win 33-14. to Up Route 12 we go past the Brisbane Inn to Oxford where the Blackhawks take on Walton Warriors on senior night. Warriors win the toss, get the ball, go 69 yards and cap off the drive with a one-yard TD from Dylan Hornbeck. Ensuing kick, the ball is going to go to Adam Pearson. It took Walton the first seven minutes and 42 seconds of the game to score, but Pearson, it's only gonna take him 14 seconds to get Oxford on the board. He returns the kickoff for the TD, and the Blackhawks are up seven to six after the PAT. Walton looking to answer on fourth down inside the red zone. Dalton Kaminsky throws the pick to Booker Davis, but instead of taking the touchback, Davis brings it out to the four, and that's where Oxford's gonna go three and out and be forced to punt. On the punt, the kick is going to go to Nick Shields. Nick Shields is going to get the ball and go to the house. He's going to return the punt for the touchdown. Puts Walton up 12-7, and they get the win 28-7. It's time for our play of the night, and you just saw it a few seconds ago. He said 7 minutes and 42 seconds to put the first points up on the board here. Only 14 seconds, but 7 if you count it in fast forward. A great play here by Adam Pearson. Runs it all the way to the house. That put the, uh, uh, the Ox Oxford up, but it didn't last long. Walton takes this game. How about the hit of the night, CW? Back to Owego we go. Max Sinicki going to take a nap. Derek Knapp with a big hit, and Sinicki is going to be catching some Zs after that one. And ME looking to get in good playoff position. Columbia, back to you.